Welcome back to the stovetop. So we were on a layover in the Seattle airport and we decided to pick up this for a review from the Vaishan Island Coffee Roastery. I didn't even know roastery was a word. It's their heirloom coffee. This is their Orca Blend Classic Medium Roast in Whole Bean. So Vaishan Island is in Puget Sound south of Seattle. If I'm getting that wrong, somebody just correct me in the comment section because I'm not from there. As a matter of fact, that was our first time in Washington State. And like everything else in the airport, this is overpriced. So this is a 12 ounce bag of whole bean coffee. At the airport gift shop, it was $24.99. At their online store, it's $15.50, but you'd have to pay shipping charges. So it's probably about the same if you were just to buy one bag. But still, it's kind of pricey. Everything at the airport's kind of pricey. Now, why did we buy this bag as opposed to all the other coffees they were selling there at the airport? Because there was a lot to choose from. Well, it's a medium roast, and we both like medium roast. Plus, it's got a picture of a killer whale on the label, and my wife likes whales and dolphins, so we just picked this one. So there's nothing really distinct about it. Uh, the bag, it's just a black bag. The flap at the top is just uh, folded over and taped. There's a label that says whole bean here. And there's a, a label on, on the front here that's got uh, like an artsy picture of a killer whale. It says the Vashon Island. And I, I could be mispronouncing that. It could be Vashon or whatever. Uh, it, it's, it's like uh, when people come up to here where I live and they go, I'm going to Lake Orion. Uh, it's Lake Orion, but you know, uh, everywhere else it would be Orion, right? So it could be Vashon Island. And why is it the Vashon Island? Okay. It, why isn't it just, you know, Vashon or Vashon Island? I don't know. But the Vashon Island coffee roastery. I'm still having trouble with that word, but uh, so it says, uh, classic medium roast, let's see, created in tribute to the Orca. Okay, uh, there's a price tag on the side here, and then on the bottom, it's got a best by date. So we purchased it in December of 2023, it says best by April of 2024. And then on the back, uh, it's got a bunch of hippie crap on the back. It's not really uh, anything about the, the, the company or about the coffee or anything else. So what I was able to find about it online is it says on their website, this is a rustic medium to dark roast blend. Okay, we'll give it a try. All right, I'll go ahead and open up the bag. I'll just peel back this clear plastic tab, I guess you call it, or seal, just a piece of tape. See if I can open this. Nope, there's no tab. The top doesn't peel back, so got scissors handy. Just go ahead and cut right along the top. There we go. Got some dark beans, got some light beans, got some oily beans, got some dry beans. Smells pretty good. I'll go ahead and just put it in the grinder. I did wipe it out last night, make sure there was no other coffee in there. Ground up pretty even. All right, time to get it in Mr. Coffee. I'm not gonna be rinsing the coffee filter and I'm gonna be using the reverse osmosis purified drinking water we get down at the local place. Be right back with the first cup. All right, coffee's all done brewing. When I came down from the studio, I could smell it a little bit. For those who don't know me, I have a poor sense of smell, so that doesn't help with these reviews. So let's go ahead and pour the first cup. I've got this mug that says Seattle that I bought at the airport as a prop, $13 made in China. But I'm one of those people who thinks that you can't have too many coffee mugs kind of a medium to dark color. I'll go ahead and do the smell test. Smells pretty good. Now this is the part of the video where I stall to let the coffee cool off a little bit. 
So when I was talking about using reverse osmosis purified drinking water from the local place, what I meant was down the street, there's a place where I buy the water softener salt or the rock salt for our driveway in the winter. And they also have uh, water purification stuff there. You can buy filters, you can get a reverse osmosis system for your house, whatever you want. And they've got an industrial reverse osmosis tank, kind of like what we had at the, the factory for the water that we were using for, for processing. And you can refill your gallon jugs there for 35 cents a gallon. So it's, it's a pretty good savings. It's a bit time consuming and eventually the jugs will wear out. What I do is I just buy some AbsoPure purified drinking water at one of the local grocery stores. AbsoPure is the local brand in my area. And then after I use it, I just save the jug. And if it starts leaking, I pitch it. But it, it's a way that uh, we found to, to save a little bit of money. The reason I use purified drinking water for uh, brewing the coffee is that it came as a recommendation from my friend, Travis P11. He's the guy who got me into trying out more coffees and doing some of these reviews. And it's actually been really fun to do the reviews. I found some coffees that I really didn't like. And then I've discovered some other coffees I never knew about that I really learned uh, that uh, I like this or, or it kind of helped me develop my palate for, uh, I guess, more boutique coffees or bougie coffees or, or whatnot. For some people, they're always going to use tap water and Maxwell House. And I used to be like that. And there's nothing wrong with that. If that's what you want to do, that's fine. That's not what these videos are about. These are, it's just me having fun trying out new coffees and sharing my experience. You know, I used to say in some of my videos, individual results may vary. And the kind of water you use uh, kind of affects that. Originally, I was using distilled water that's steam distilled. And the reason I went with that is because I was on a ship for six months and we had distilled ocean water and it was the best tasting water I've ever had in my life. You know, I used to like well water because I grew up with that and, and that sort of thing. But really having some good water helps bring out the, the taste of the coffee, in my opinion. So for us, it's worth it to buy water, whether we, we get it at the store or whether we refill it at the local place. All right, so now that I've explained a little bit about some of the things I do in my coffee videos, for those who actually care, let's see if it's cool off enough for me to take that first sip. It's cooled off just enough for me to get a sip off of it. And it's not bad. I was kind of thinking it would be a little bit bitter because it said medium to dark in the description online. And I'll include a link to their website in the description section below as well if you wanted to order this or see what other kinds of coffees they've got. Yeah, that actually doesn't remind me of, of anything that's kind of dark. Dark roast to me, I'm just not a dark roast guy. They kind of taste uh, like an ashtray to me. They just taste like burnt coffee. They really do. That actually tastes kind of light. So I'll go ahead and have a few cups of this. And I'll come back and give you my final impressions. All right, so I've had a few cups of coffee. I did let it cool off till it got lukewarm and it did get bitter. It was somewhere in between that really nasty bitter and that not so bad kind of bitter. So it, it's not too bad overall. I mean, it's kind of smooth. Something about it, though, to me, it kind of tastes light in the front, like a medium roast in the middle, and like a dark roast on the end. And I'm not much of a dark roast person, so I can drink this coffee. It's not bad, but it's, it's not something that I would recommend. If you like dark roasts, or maybe you can bounce between a dark and a medium roast, then you'd probably like this coffee. Overall, for the price we paid for it, to us, it really isn't worth it. My director doesn't really care for it herself. And I went online and I found out how to pronounce the name of the island. It's Vashon, like fashion. So, yeah, I guess the only other issue is with just the name of this place. The Vashon Island Roastery. Why don't they just call it Vashon Island Coffee Mill? Just saying. But regardless... 
if we ever happen to be back in Washington State in the Seattle Tacoma area, we might take the ferry over to the island and check out this coffee mill for ourselves. But I wouldn't go. I, I'm I'm not really interested in in going online to buy this or buying this at uh, or another coffee from from this place at the airport if we happen to be on another layover. But maybe I might try something at their at their uh, cafe at their mill. And if I liked it, I would bring it back. So I'll include links to their website and to the island ferry service in the description section below. And if you happen to be in the Seattle airport, there's a lot of coffee for sale there. Just saying. Thanks for watching.